Eyes across Jamaica. News from every angle. Let's see what is popping in the news. The police have recovered a motor vehicle belonging to missing teacher, Natalie Dawkins, and killed a man believed to be involved in her disappearance. The vehicle was seized by the police when at least two men attempted to sell it. The police team acting on intelligence moved to detain the two men and were met with gunfire. The police returned the fire and one of the men was killed. His identity is not yet known. The second man fled the scene and is being pursued by the police. This Dawkins is 44-year-old. She has been missing since Tuesday. Dawkins is a teacher at Four Paths Primary in Clarendon. This Dawkins is believed to have been abducted by a gunman. Her handbag was found a few days ago along the Spanish town leg of Highway 2000. The police have arrested the man who was heard threatening to kill a woman referred to as Denise in a viral voice note. Noting that he was apprehended in St. Catherine and his identity is currently being withheld. The police launched an investigation into the incident. The Barrett Town Police and St. James are probing the circumstances surrounding the murder of 36-year-old Dykin Allen, otherwise called Neil, a shopkeeper of Blood Lane, in the community on Tuesday, March 30th. Reports by the police are that about 8 p.m., Allen was at his shop when he was pounced upon by armed men who opened fire hitting him multiple times before escaping in the area on foot. The police were summoned and upon arrival, Allen was discovered suffering from gunshot wounds and was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. An elderly Jamaican-born woman was mauled to death by two of her neighbor's dogs at her home in Rowley Regis in the West Midlands, United Kingdom on Friday. The deceased has been identified as 85-year-old Lucille Downer. Her family, in a statement, said Downer was born in Jamaica and migrated to the UK in her early 20s. According to a report in the UK Express newspaper, about 3.20 p.m. on Friday, the elderly woman was in her garden when two dogs from a neighboring property attacked her. Neighbors reported that they saw the dogs dragging her around the garden by her neck. The police and relatives of the woman were alerted. Our officers attended, by which point the dogs had returned through a hole in the fence to the adjacent property and unfortunately, despite the best efforts of medical professionals, she died at the scene. The 43-year-old man who is the owner of the dogs was arrested on Friday. We now move to On the Brighter Side. James Bond cast assisted Portland Jerk Center, where a part of one of their movie was filmed. The owners of Portland Jerk Center is very thankful for the aid given to rebuild, as the Jerk Center was destroyed by fire. According to them, the ruin of the restaurant was also a devastating blow to our staff complement of 15 workers. I was just up the road when I got a phone call to say the place was burning down, Lindsay recalls. Four freezers, one standing fridge, a fan and a stove also perished in the fire. I mean it was tough going for the workers, all of whom had children to feed, he laments. Craig and the rest of the James Bond cast and crew has contributed 35,000 peso to assist with rebuilding the restaurant. They were all extremely sad to hear about the fire and wanted to do something to help rebuild. They really wanted Piggy to get back on his feet as quickly as possible. It was a lovely gesture, tourism minister Ed Bartlett said. Lindsay said that he is grateful for the support. The assistance from the James Bond movie cast was very good Lindsay said. We have reopened, and yes, I am back on my feet again.